And I followed closely with this one swimmer because she is the most decorated female swimmer of all time, Katie Ledecky. As I mentioned, she has she's the most de decorated female swimmer, and she's only 24 years old. She had plenty of head-to-head -head matchups with her rival, Titmus in the 400 meter and 200 meter freestyle. For those who don't know what the freestyle is, essentially just typical move your arms back and forth, just what you would normally do if you were swimming in a pool. Titmus beat um, Ledecky um, in the 400 meter and the 200 meter freestyle, and along with a four by 200 meter relay. But that's because Ledecky's strength isn't really the shorter distance, it's actually the longer distance races that uh, Titmus doesn't um, compete against her in. Ledecky won with ease and just an hour after doing the 200 meter, which is pretty incredible. Uh, I mean, as a track runner, when I have an hour in between races, I'm usually n nowhere near where I want to be in terms of how, um, um, how uh, recovered I am. When Ledecky faced Titmus in the 800 meter free, Ledecky beat her. And, but did you know that she actually owns the top four fastest 800 times in the world? That's crazy. It's It was bound to happen. It's no surprise she won the event. Watching Ledecky swim for the first time was actually pretty entertaining. I didn't really watch her in the previous Olympics or any other swimming events. It was just very entertaining. It's not exciting to see these, these best athletes um, sweep everyone in all the events like Usain Bolt does. But watching her compete was like watching a movie. Like there was adversity, there was drama. Like you wouldn't know if she was going to win a race because she just got beat in a previous race. And it was just kind of cool. It was really it was, it was really awesome to see her actually perform. She had a press conference um, after one of her races and she mentions that striving for greatness is a blessing and a curse. What that means to me is it feels good to submit yourself as the best, the best, breaking records, including your own personal best, but it comes with an attitude that you must maintain at all times, especially when the spotlight or media is always on you. When you fall short, it can sometimes feel worse than how great it feels to succeed. Sometimes people forget you are human. You make mistakes. You're not going to be the best athlete at all times, which can actually really relate to what's going on with Simone Biles.